I've tried a bunch of different hairstyles over the years. I've done longer and medium length kind of wavy hair. I've had very short haircuts that had a lot of texture. And of course, I've been influenced by hairstyle trends. For a few years, I rocked the undercut side part, which a bunch of guys had. I actually still think that's a pretty good haircut. But there's one haircut that I keep coming back to. It's practical, but it's not boring. It's good for guys who are willing to put a little bit of time into styling their hair, just a few minutes, but it's still a pretty low maintenance haircut. It's especially great for guys with straight or wavy hair, and especially guys with thick hair like me. So in this video, I'm gonna explain what exactly this hairstyle is, what to tell your barber if you wanna get this haircut, and then of course, how to style it. Before we get into it, huge thank you to Factor for sponsoring this video. Factor is America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit. They make it easy to eat healthy and reach your nutrition goals by delivering fresh, never frozen meals right to your door. And the best part is there's no prep needed. Factor meals arrive pre-prepared and ready to eat in just two minutes. Factor is actually owned by my favorite meal kit delivery service, HelloFresh. They're both great, it just kinda depends what you're in the mood for. If you don't wanna do any cooking or cleaning, Factor is a great choice. They offer calorie smart, keto, protein plus, and vegan and veggie meals, all prepared by gourmet chefs and approved by dietitians. My favorite Factor meal this week was this Italian ground beef and marinara bowl with ricotta and pesto zucchini. This keto meal had 38 grams of protein and only 16 grams of carbs with no added sugars, so it made a perfect post-workout meal. I also liked the jalapeno lime cheddar chicken with spicy cilantro cauliflower rice. This one packed a little bit of a spicy punch and it definitely helped me hit those protein macro goals for the day. And these were totally hassle-free meals. There were no dishes to clean up afterwards. It's actually faster and easier than takeout or delivery. Factor updates their menus weekly, so there's always something new to try, including a bunch of add-ons and snacks and smoothies. You can either choose specific meals or let Factor choose for you based on your dietary preferences, which is what I do. But my favorite thing about Factor is just how easy it is to get a meal on the table that tastes good and that's healthy. So if you wanna try Factor for yourself, head to factor75.com and use the code MODEST50 for 50% off your first Factor box. One more time, go over to factor75.com and use the code MODEST50 to get 50% off your first box. Okay, let's get into the video. So I call this hairstyle the tapered brushed back side part. Tapered just means that your hair is longer on the top than it is on the sides and the back, but it's not an undercut. Taper is gradual. So an undercut is when there's a disconnect, meaning there's a clear line where your hair goes from long to short. Taper is just a gradual change from long to short, from the top of your head down to your ears and neckline. It's also not a fade. A fade is an extreme version of a taper where it gets very, very short. Sometimes you can even see your scalp, which is called a skin fade. So this is just a gentle taper. Brushed back means that I'm brushing all of the hair toward the back of my head. So this isn't like a normal side part where your hair follows the swirl of the crown of your head and this brush back side part, we're just going straight back. This is a crucial detail because it works better if you have a little bit of extra length, especially on the top and the back of your head. So if you wanna try this hairstyle, you might wanna grow your hair for a couple of weeks before going to the barber. And of course, side part means that it's an asymmetrical style. You do have a part line, but in this style, the part line is actually a little bit higher up on your head, not right on the corner, and it doesn't go all the way back. It only goes maybe halfway back, and then everything just gets brushed back. So while you may be thinking this is just a normal side part, haircut is actually a little bit different and I think a little bit cooler, a little more versatile, and it works well as your hair grows out. So that means you don't have to get your hair cut as often. Okay, let's look at how to style it, starting with clean, wet hair. You're gonna need some medium hold product or lightweight product, a towel and a blow dryer. You can use a brush, but I find that using your hands works just as well, maybe even a little better. Start by towel drying your hair and be gentle. You don't have to get it all the way dry. You're just trying to remove the bulk of the moisture out of your hair. You don't want it dripping wet. Then get some light and medium hold product, something with a matte finish, not like a shiny pomade. I like this Hans de Foucault sponge wax. I've been using it for a few years. 
and spread it all across your palms and then uh, spread it evenly in your hair going from the back to the front. So the key is you want to coat the entire strand of hair, even the back of it. If you just go from front to back, uh, it won't actually help glue your hair down. So work it in from the back to the front, including in the sides and on the back and on the top. And then once you have it coated, push all your hair back and spend a minute here, really get it going back. You know, just use, use your fingers as a comb. Again, if you wanna use a brush, you can, but I find using your hands leads to a more natural result. Now you have two options here. If you want to let your hair dry, but still look kind of damp, you can use a high hold product like gel to lock your hair in place and then just let it dry. After it dries, it's still gonna look slightly wet, but it's gonna be locked in place. And it's kind of that nice, like, I just got out of the shower look. You see a lot of celebrities wearing their hair like this on the red carpet. If you really want it to stay like that all day, you should probably lock it in with a little bit of hairspray. The second option, which is what I usually do, is to use a blow dryer to sort of sculpt your hair and to give it a bit of extra volume. If you're not in a rush, put your blow dryer on low and start drying your hair. Make sure to aim everything toward the back. I like to start with the sides and really kind of glue them down so they're not puffing out. You can kind of pick up sections of hair with your hands and aim that air toward the roots. This is gonna help remove all the moisture and get your hair going in the direction that you want it to. If you are struggling to achieve the volume that you want or the lift, you can definitely use a brush at this point to kind of curl your hair backwards as you dry it. This will create a lot of extra height and volume. Now, I have plenty of problems, but lack of volume isn't one of them, so I usually skip the brush. What's crucial here is to make sure that the hair at the top and the back of your head is actually going backwards. You don't want to follow the swirl of your crown like you would with a regular classic side part. And at this point, depending on how everything looks, I mean, you can put your blow dryer on low and you can really sculpt your hair, you know, especially if you used a nice product when it was still kind of damp, like a lightweight product. I mean, the blow dryer can really do some amazing things if you have the time for it. And then once everything is to your liking, you are gonna to wanna to lock your hair in because especially if you've used a blow dryer, it's gonna be a little bit soft and it will kind of fall down throughout the day. So you need a little bit more product to lock it in place. Of course, if you like that natural look, you don't have to use any more product. And throughout the day, you might get some strands kind of falling down in your face and it's kind of a cool look. It's kind of that like 90s boy band look. I sort of dig it. But for me, especially if it's like a windy day outside, I like to lock my hair in place so it's not falling down throughout the day. I'm gonna use the same product, this sponge wax, but this time I'm gonna spread it over my fingers and work it from front to back. If your hair tends to be a bit unruly, you should use a higher hold product, you know, something like a matte finish pomade. And that's it. And I know this might seem like a lot of work, especially if you're not used to spending time styling your hair or if you don't own a blow dryer, but I promise once you do this a couple times, it's less less than five minutes. It's like a two or three minute process. In fact, using a blow dryer is faster than letting your hair air dry. And this is just a great hairstyle. I mean, I get compliments on it. It's easy to style. It's predictable. You don't need to get your hair cut every two weeks. And the thing that I really like about this haircut is it looks good now. It looked good 20, 30, 40 years ago. And I think it's still going to look good 20, 30, 40 years from now. So if you want a hairstyle that you don't really have to think too much about, but that looks a little better than just like a crew cut or something like that, and that isn't trendy like the TikTok broccoli head cut, uh, this is a good choice. Thanks one more time to Factor for supporting the channel by sponsoring this video. I'll link to them below in the description. If you have any questions for me, let me know down in the comments section. And thank you as always for watching. Until next time, stay stylish.